We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the New York Yankees and the Tampa Bay Rays. The Yankees are looking to collect their eighth win in a row next. Trevor Richards is the man on the mound for the fourth game of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, every team needs a pitcher like this one here. His numbers aren't going to blow you away. Career ERA just under four. But one thing he does, he takes the ball every five days, throws strikes, and gives his team a chance to win every single time he goes out there. He'll be fun to watch in this one here today. Leading off tonight now with the plate, Yankees. Brett Gardner. The and we are set for baseball Brett. here this evening. Gardner. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Ball. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. Dan Dero, we take a look at the Rays entering play here tonight. They come in in a bit of a rough patch. They've dropped four in a row. First yeah, Maddie, they want to be left. playing their best ball. They have to find a way to win this ball game, especially on a Thursday night. You don't want to be headed into the weekend getting swept. Yeah, one of the things you want to do, D-Road, take care of business here on this Thursday and not look forward to that weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday series coming up. Take care of business here in Thursday's game. Too far out in front that time. He can't keep it fair, 2-1. and one. As usual, no surprise, 72 degrees, the game time temperature here inside Tropicana Field. Now the 2 1 pitch. Oh, and he subtracts there beautifully as this pitch is swung on and missed for the game's first out. That was aggressive pitching in that at bat, and I like seeing that. He showed all hard Labor. stuff until the fifth and Four. final pitch for the strikeout. When you work off your hard stuff, it really opens up your secondary pitches to be more deceptive. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He'll enter play here with an average just over 250. Seven homers and 17 RBIs. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and now. Pretty easy takes to start out this at bat. None of those pitches were even close to the strike zone. Outside, 3-0 and now. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. Hit the other way out toward right field. Meadows is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Pat and third, the designated hitter, Miguel and Duhar. Here's Miguel Andujar now, looking to stay hot. He's been a real threat at the plate the last week or so. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball. Wouldn't mind a pitcher expanding the zone a little bit more and using his aggressiveness against him. inside and he falls behind the hitter now 2 and 0. Hey you want to talk about being in a zone this guy's been raking lately and it all starts with his pitch selection two great takes and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. two balls and a strike to count now the 2 1 waves and misses for strike number two and set up behind the dish is Woody Keller as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there you know Dero Woody Keller's a good umpire but at times the consistency kind of wavers a little bit I'm not sure if you'd say he's a low ball umpire or a high ball umpire and we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that will retire the side one two three go the bombers Yankees nothing Tampa Bay coming up it's Major League Baseball on the show Jay Happ 
Gets handed the ball for the fourth and final game of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, in this day and age where we're all into numbers and statistics, look at this whip. 1.10 or less. He has a sub 1.1. That's not an easy thing to do, especially in today's game where we see teams scoring a lot of runs. He doesn't walk very many guys, and he doesn't give up that many hits either. This is a real good pitcher and should be fun to watch pitch in this one. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, Fortune has been smiling on them recently. They're unbeaten in their last seven games. You know, Matty, the season's such a grind. And you fight so hard day in, day out, and you're playing against the best players in the world, so you know you're going to lose some games coming out of spring training. To get on a roll where you win seven in a row, a week of everything coming together, that's a special feeling. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. On the ground to third. He's right there. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Batting second, the designated hitter, Jose Martinez. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And up next will be the right handed hitting Jose Martinez. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. High and deep to right center. Gardner going back to the track. But he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. And he's in there easily at second with a one out double. He got the pitch he wanted and he didn't miss it right there. Hammer job. Stepping in now, Austin Meadows. As he'll watch a slider that stays inside for ball one. Now the 1-0 is a fastball looked at for a strike. Swung on and missed, one and two now. Hey, I love that pitch right there. Better execution after just giving up an extra base hit. Martinez leads off second with one gone in the inning. Hit back up the middle. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Boy, you know, Dero, every pitcher loves that. Shortstop does a great job just to knock that ball down to keep it from the outfield to keep that runner from advancing all the way to home. Yeah, and, and as a former middle infielder, Dan, we, we love this stuff. This is what gets you jacked up, trying to save runs for your pitcher, give you another chance to execute and get us out of this inning. So now to the plate, Hunter Renfro, as he'll get a slider up that time, but he swings through it for the first strike. Set. Here's the 0 1. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. Great job to be able to lay off that pitch right there. You could tell the minute it came out of his hand, his eyes lit up at the plate. The 1 1 home. Lifted into center field. Gardner is there. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. And they're going to take a 1 0 lead as the run comes across to score. Great job there by this power hitter. Known for driving the ball out of the ballpark. Does the job right there with the sack fly and brings the run home. G-Man Choi the next to hit. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Taken but that catches the inside part of the plate. A runner on first with two away. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. 
Grounded to the right. LeMayhew gets to it. Throw on to Voigt takes care of him, and the inning is over. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. Thursday night baseball rolls on. We'll have more after this. Giancarlo Stanton now, and he's a guy who's been absolutely terrific over the last couple of series, really swinging it well. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Cold strike at the letters. 0 and 1. Jumped ahead with strike one there, and that's something he's going to do a lot of in this start. He doesn't have lights out stuff, so it's important for him to be pitching ahead and have the hitters on their heels. The 0 2 delivery. And right into the shift. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. That is it. The third base play. Gio Urshela. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. Couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. Here comes the first pitch. Ball one. One Bases ball. are empty, Good one man out. Who pulled the string and had him way out in front, a ball and a strike. The 1-1 one, one home. Hard hit ball to second, but right to the second baseman, and that's the second out. That is good. The second baseman, DJ LeMahieu. At the plate, DJ LeMahieu. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Now here's the pitch. A ball and no strikes. Hey, I hope that call doesn't throw him off his game right here. He's been pitching one heck of a game, and I'd hate to see the umpire get in his head right now. Bases are empty here with two men out. That's inside. 2-0. Oh, and he goes the other way, and he drives it out to deep right center field. Gone! Solo shot to right center. His first home run of the season, and the Yankees have drawn even now at one apiece. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. Into the box, Luke Voigt. The first baseman. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. Two out, nobody on. Ball. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Looked like he was a little over aggressive there to throw that nasty curveball. Just needs to slow his delivery down a bit. Two balls and a strike no. to the Yankees' first baseman. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Got him to go after a bad one there, and it evens the count at two and two. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat, as this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. 
And whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. That was a great battle right there. He tried to get him to chase, but he laid off some really tough pitches and got a walk. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. Digging in now, Mike Talkman. He's two for ten in the series coming into today. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Runner aboard at first here with two gone in a 1 1 ball game. Ball one. That fastball really got away from him there. That's kind of a red flag for me that he's starting to tire or wear down a little bit. The first thing that goes is location and then your mechanics. We'll see if this continues. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. But a foul ball one and two now. That's lifted the other way out to left. Renfro is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. One in the inning and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. On to the bottom of inning number two. All even now at 1-1. One, one. Now at the plate, Willie Adamas in past meetings with Jay Happ. He's only one for ten. He's also gone down on strikes five times. First pitch of the at bat. And he'll miss the target away with the fastball. It's one and oh. He's become known as a starting pitcher that frequently works deep into games. The kind of guy you want on the staff when your team needs some rest because he tends to eat up innings all by himself. Matt, every team is looking for a guy like this in a day and age where we're going to the bullpens more early and more often. You need at least one or two guys into the rotation that have the chance to get you into the seventh or eighth ah. inning, and he's definitely one of those guys. Two balls and a strike now. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2-1. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2-0 to seven. start the at-bat. That's a pretty bad place to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. And that'll bring in Yandy Diaz as he'll reach for one and come up empty for the first strike. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Oh, one pitch on its way. And it's fouled away. Ball. Started the breaking ball far too inside that time. Laid off for ball one. The one two he is swung on and missed. He got him. Well, there's the great equalizer, the changeup, El Cambio. Listen, if you can keep that pitch in your back pocket and pull it out when you need it, like he did right there, usually hitters, they don't stand a chance. So here's Mike Zanino. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. The numbers offensively pretty dismal to this point down in the 170s to start play. Six home runs and 17 RBIs. Into the windup here comes the 0 and 1. Comes at him with the slider there and he gets the strike. This is a perfect time for him to break out that nasty changeup. Great arm action on it and bury something in the dirt. Try and get a swing and a miss. And an off speed pitch swung on and missed. And with that, the side is retired. Rays go in order one, two, three. 
through two. We're tied one apiece. Now to the plate, Kyle Higashioka, and he'll start out their half of the third, top of the order to follow. Kyle Higashioka. First pitch of the at bat. Ball. No. Now the 2 0. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. Ooh, that was ugly. Howdy, if you're waving at me. No. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't no. offer at it. Three and two. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine-hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order looming. Here's a fly ball, well hit. Meadows moving back at the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. And with one away, time for a check of the standings in the American League East as you get a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play. Now here comes the Tampa Bay manager out to the mound. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. So as he departs, not exactly sure why he's getting the hook as he's given up just one run, but nevertheless, he's on his way to an early shower. You're Diego Castillo is going to come on to now pitch here, and in just play. the third inning, you have to think Number he'll be asked three. to eat some innings. Diego. Castillo. So one gone in the inning now, and that'll bring in Brett Gardner. First pitch coming. Here it is. One out, nobody on. Sinker, one ball, one strike. One and two. Swung underneath that pitch, so he was either trying to elevate the ball or he was expecting a pitch to be a sinker and drop more than it did. Hard ball. sinker misses two and two. Two ball, two strike. Ball. And this will miss down low in the dirt, okay. so he's worked it full now at three and two. Hey, I know the idea is to try to get the guy to swing on a 2-2 pitch, right? But that one was so low, I don't know anybody that would have swung at that pitch. A payoff pitch one more time. There's a swing and a high, deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. lifted down the line and left and they can't run it down making him work out there the ninth pitch of the at bat coming up pulled toward right center field Margo's under it and he makes the catch for the second out the bat the short stop labor Torres so bases are empty here with two gone and that will bring up the exciting middle infielder Glaber Torres. The pitch. Ball. Who 
That was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Bases are empty here with two men out. A little bit outside. Two and one. And a slider's in for a strike. It's two and two. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. So the Yanks go 1-2-3. After two and a half, it remains a 1-1 ball game. And that'll bring up Manuel Margot. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. He's ready. Here's the first offering. No, that's up. The 1 0 home. Ball. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. The 2 0. Outside and low. 3 and 0. Ball three to a leadoff hitter that can run. Not the greatest way to start this right here. I think right now you really have to start pouring some pitches into that strike zone. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. Tuckman a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Now with the plate, Joey Wendell. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball. Bases are empty. One man out. That oh. misses 2 and 0. Oh. Not yeah. even close with the 1 0. Oh. He needs to get back in the zone, but be careful. Work the quadrants. 2 and 1 to the Rays' leadoff batter. Boy, what a time to pull the string on him. On 2 0, oh, there's no way anyone's thinking changeup. So if you can locate it, that's pretty much unhittable. Now the 2 1 pitch. Doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was late on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. One out, nobody on. And, whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. Up next for Tampa Bay, the designated hitter. So coming to the plate, Jose Martinez. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. First offering on its way. Runners on the move for second. No balls in one strike. Throw over to the bag. Throw in the dirt to first, and he can't come up with it cleanly. Set to deliver the 0-1. And, and he fouls this one off. Here comes the nothing in two pitch. 
ball. Hey, I get it. He wants to set up that breaking ball down and away. But that 0-2 fastball wasn't even close. The 1-2 is taken for ball two. Regardless of the result right here, to be down 0-2 and work it back to an even count, got to feel like it's a win for the offense. Full count, three balls and two strikes to the Rays' DH. I wouldn't be surprised to see the runner moving here on that 3-2 pitch. With only one out, but this guy at the plate swings the bat really well, so it's likely he'll put the ball in play if it's a pitch worth swinging at. Now the payoff pitch home, and he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Wow, you know he's not happy with that call. When it crossed the plate, it sure looked like a strike to me. Seemed to catch a ton of the plate. That's a tough way to give up a walk, but he's got to put it behind him now. So first and second with one man gone, and Austin Meadows will be the next to bat. He's set. Here it comes. With some traffic on the base pass, nice job by the pitcher to execute strike one. Runners are at first and second with one away. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. in there for a called third strike and there are two gone now big strikeout for the second out there but he's not out of it yet we'll see if he can feed off that K wiggle out of the jam and keep this game tied to the plate now Hunter Renfro as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty it's strike one He'll come into this one with an average way down at 235. Four home runs, nine driven in. The 0 1 offering. Lays oh. off that time, and it's one and two. Boy, his pitch count has really spiked here in this inning. He's up to over 50 already. Even two and two count to Hunter Renfro. This is a huge pitch right here. I don't think he wants to go 3-2 and have those runners be in motion. Look for him to be aggressive with what he thinks is his best pitch right now. Two and two. Here it is. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep him out of danger. Back with more on a Thursday night following this. set for the start of the inning and that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah but it was a good change up Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Now the 1-0. No. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. 
Now the 2-0. Ball. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Set to deliver on 3-0. Right. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. A hey, pretty aggressive pitch right there up in the zone. Surprised he didn't offer at it. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now batter. Right field. And while we have a moment, here's a look at the Rays' road to the show report. Two guys there that this organization has to be happy about right now. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. Oh. He's 0-1 oh for 1 thus far. The 1-0. Oh. This is in the air out to right. Meadows is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Now batting the third baseman, Gio Urshela. Next for New York, Gio Urshela comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First offering on its way. In there for strike 1, 0 and 1. One run, just one hit, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Lazy fly ball out to center field. In comes Margo. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. We'll go to the bottom of the fourth, tied one to one. We're back at Tropicana Field, and let's check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, race manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Thank you, Heidi. Ready to go for and the last go. half of the Over inning. Ray. Stepping in, G-Man Choi. Baseman. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First pitch coming. Here it is. And the shift will not amount to much here as this is lifted in the air out to right field. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. Grounded back up the middle. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Dan, I'll tell you, it doesn't matter what it looks like right there. That lawn dart felt so good. Oh, Dilo, this guy's been due. He really needed that one. In now, Willie Adamas as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Change up low, 2 0. Oh. Adamas doesn't usually enjoy left handed pitching like this as much as he does at bats against right handers. I'm not sure if it's a comfort thing or if he just sees the ball better coming from the right side, but that's the book on him at this point in his career. Now the 2 1 is looked at ball. for ball three. Two balls, one strike.
the 3-1. Two. Three balls, two strikes, down is full. Line towards center field. Gardner is there, and he has it for the first out. Third baseman number two, Yandy Diaz. Digging in for his second at bat, Yandy Diaz. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Has a look, now the pitch. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. Runner on first here with one gone and a 1 1 tie. Swing and a miss, and he's in control 0 oh, 2. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. Ball, that misses 1 and 2. Man, that's a good take there on that 0 oh, 2 fastball just missed. He must have a really good eye at the plate. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take, and he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. Fouled off. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. A ball and a strike to Mike Zanino. One run on three hits and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Fouled away. He struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Ray's strand just the one. Fifth inning coming up, tied at one. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far, and he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said that they're playing right into the pitcher's game plan today by expanding the strike zone way too often. Instead of swinging at pitches in the strike zone that they can do something with, they're often chasing at pitches out of the zone, which is resulting in a lot of their outs. Ladies Going forward, they have to start being more please. selective, guys. Now pitching for Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Thanks. Chaz Rowe, the 6'5 right-hander, takes over on the mound. And that sends DJ LeMahieu into the box. He'll start things out as we begin the fifth. DJ LeMahieu. First pitch coming. Here it is. Ball. Ball and a strike. One ball, one strike. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Rowe, an Ohio native. He was a first round pick back in 2005. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. 
Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two swing and a miss on the slider and that's out number one. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Now yeah Matt that's the advantage the of getting ahead head in the count. You can really force hitters Boy. to expand their zone and protect and when they're in that mode getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. At the plate, Luke Voigt, as the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. 287, the average coming in. Nine homers and 17 RBIs. Ready with the 1-0. A swing and a ground ball to third. Oh, beautiful dive. It's in time. Up next for the Yankees. The left fielder, Mike Talkman. Digging in, Mike Talkman. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. First pitch of the at bat. Now a southpaw up to throw in that Tampa Bay bullpen. Slider laid off for a ball. Two out, nobody on. Fastball well outside. You won. All even now, two and two. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. Now the payoff pitch home. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two-out base runner. Up next for the Yankees, the catcher, Kyle. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And up to bat next, it'll be the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. Set and the pitch. Higashioka, a California born ball player. He was selected in the seventh round during the 2008 draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. No ball. Mm, got him out on his front foot. It's 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Ball. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. The Yanks leave one. Halfway home, all even at one apiece. Center fielder, Madwell. Madwell. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing and he pops him up. LeMahieu over to his right. Makes the play. One away. Now back. Second baseman. Joey Wendell. And that'll bring up Joey Wendell. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch on its way. Ball. One out. Bases are empty, one man out. 
And it's fouled away. The 1-1. One, one. Ball, that's too low. Try to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. The 2-2. Two -two. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right now there with two strikes. That elevated hitter. fastball. Okay. Every hitter thinks that, hey, they can do something with that. But most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. At the plate now, Jose Martinez, as he grounds one briskly to short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Down in order go the Rays. We played five full, tied at one aside. Colin Poche takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 38. So back to the top of the Yankee order. Digging in, Brett Gardner. He flew out in his last at bat. Brett Gardner. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. One zero home, and he fouls this one off. The ball in two strikes, and action now in the Tampa Bay pen as it looks like a right-hander's begun to get loose. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. And they are not going to get him at first. He's aboard easily. Dan, after that base hit, he's now extended his hit streak to nine games, and you know he wants double digits. Oh, there's no question about it. Listen, anybody can get a nine-game hitting streak, but when you call your buddies or send out a text message and say, hey, I'm about in double digits, so nine games is nothing to sneeze at, but he'd love to get it to ten. Oh, and one the count. From the belt, kicks and deals. Oh. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. The 1-1 one, one home is looked at for ball number two. two ball. Leadoff man aboard here in a 1-1 one, one ball game. Nip the corner, two and two. Don't know for sure, but I think he may have been taking there thinking his teammate on first was going to be on the move. Swing and a liner. Foul. Right Another try at 2-2. Two -two. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Spotted it nicely down around the bottom of the zone. And when you do that, especially with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. Now a throw over to first and a dive, but he's back. Standing in now, Miguel Andujar. He sends it on the ground softly to the left. To second for one. Return throw is in time. How about that? They do turn two, and it gets him out of the inning. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. Thursday night baseball rolls on. We'll have more after this.
Digging in to try it again. And Austin Meadows. The, Ray, the right field. Austin Meadows. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. Down the left field line and deep. And that's going to land foul. Now the one and one pitch. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. He takes it to the opposite field, high and deep to left. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Oh, this is a great way to start the inning. Now the go-ahead run is on second. A base hit away from coming across. I know it's only the sixth inning, but you'd love to claim the lead right now and let your bullpen carry the load the rest of the way. Digging in once again, Hunter Renfro. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Good spot to be in right now as a hitter. Count your favor, 1-0. Good time to get a fastball and turn it loose. From the stretch. Yep. A high fastball is in there. A runner at second, nobody out. A ball and two strikes now. Little hesitation right there by the batter. It was great execution by the pitcher down and away. But that looked like a late swing. Could have been sitting on something else. Hit out toward second. Mayhew's got it. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. For Tampa Bay, the first baseman, G Man Choi. Now in the box, G Man Choi. Last time through was a base hit. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder and everything went with it. Not close with that when it's way above the strike zone. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Here's a foul ball left side and that'll move it to one and two. From the belt the pitch and he strikes out and oh boy all he needed was a fly ball somewhere to give him the lead but instead there are two gone now. That, that strikeout changes the whole up. complexion of the inning. Really? He was definitely I'm pitching for it with a run on third and one out and he got it. Now it's going to take a hit or something like a wild pitch to get that guy home. So now to the plate, Willie Adamas, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. The set and the 1 0. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. Got to sit middle middle when a guy's trying to pitch around you. If he's going to give you first base, take it. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Stanton on the run. And he brings it down to end the inning as the go-ahead run is left stranded. Ray's strand just the one. Score remains tied one to one. Nick Anderson will come out and take the ball here as he'll be making his 15th appearance of the year. 
Undertale. Now batting, Giancarlo Stanton. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Giancarlo Stanton. First pitch of the at bat. And a ball 1 and 0. The pitch. Ball outside. 2 0 to a guy with this kind of pop. You better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. And now a called strike that time as the zone expands a bit here. It's two and one now. Pitch on the way. This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. The 3-2 pitch. Ripped down the first baseline. And a perfect start to the seventh as this should be extra bases. And your go-ahead run is in at second base here with a leadoff double. That's the difference in today's games. Pitchers will throw any pitch in any count, but the batter was able to deliver on a 3-2 breaking ball. To the plate now, Gio Urshela. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. This year against right-handed pitching, Urshela has an eye-grabbing batting line, one that resides above the 340 plateau. You want to talk about having a career season, Matty. This guy's batting average is through the roof, one of the best in the business, and maybe more importantly, his OPS is through the roof as well, which means he's doing it with damage. Now the 2-0. 2 and -oh. 1 now. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with nobody out. Offers it that one a little late and it's two and two now. Sometimes you can get away with a pitch in that location when you're running it up there that hard but not consistently. You still have to work the edges of the zone most of the time. And the throw will indeed take care of him for the first out. Good pitch there, and that was a nice job by his battery mate to complete the play first after the ball hit the dirt. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. A hit in two tries for him so far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Pitch is way outside, and he can't even get a glove on it. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. Well, he has nobody to blame but himself. With one out, a runner on third can come home to score all sorts of ways. That's why, as a pitcher, you have to execute pitches even better when there are runners on base. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. Lays off again, and it's 2-0. and oh. Well, this is a strikeout situation, but it's also a ground ball situation. I expect we'll see a lot of pitches down in the zone trying to prevent the hitter from getting the ball up in the air. The 2-0 -oh on the way. Hit hard to third. 
And that is through into left as he delivers. It's a base hit. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. It's now a two to one ball game. Boy, those have to feel really good, Dero. You just get late in the game, you come up with a big RBI base hit right here to give your team the lead. Yeah, no one remembers that ground ball with eyes in the top of the second inning. You want to show up when the game is on the line. Can you quiet your emotions down, take the crowd out of it, and slow yourself down enough to come through? And that's exactly what he did. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. He was a ground out victim last time up. A high strike there, and it's one and one. Hey, now he's got me confused up here. This is a known sinker baller out on the mound trying to roll a double play, and he throws him a four seamer. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Now a chopper to first might only get one. There's one. On to the pitcher covering, and it's in time. A double play, and the inning is over. A run on two hits for the Yankees. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. The Yankees lead it 2-1. to one. Last half of the seventh here, digging in, Yandy Diaz. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. And a fastball's in there for strike one. We're moving along into the later innings, and this guy's throwing over 60% of his first pitches for strikes. He'd like to do a little bit more, but so far, so good. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. And now a ball lifted into the air out towards center field. After it is Gardner. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. So yet another strong outing for him tonight as we show you the league leaders in ERA. And as you can see, he's right up there, fourth in the AL in that category. Here now is Mike Zanino. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Expect the guy on the mound to keep attacking the zone. He wants a quick inning so he won't be nibbling. The wind up and the 0 1. So two misses and that'll move it to one and two now. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. It's been a rough night at the yard for him. That's three times he's gone down on strikes in this one. So they've really figured out how to attack this guy. Into the box, Manuel Margo. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 0. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. And he misses low with it 2 0. I think when a team starts struggling, certainly offensively, it's just guys try and play above their pay grade. Know who the best players are in the lineup and try and get on base to set them up. Hit in the air out to straightaway left. Left fielder giving chase. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. Rays go in order. One, two, three. They still trail it here. Two to one. Ready now, Mike Talkman. It was a walk in his last trip. Mike Talkman.
first pitch of the at bat. Curveball looked at here for strike one. Outside for a ball, one and one. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. People always talk about how important getting the leadoff men on base is, and, and it's true. So in the eighth that's inning of a one-run game, that's a really nice job of attacking a hitter and sending him packing. Stepping in now, Kyle Higashioka. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. No hits to this point. Curveball. Swing and a miss, and he's behind in the count 0-2. Offered at that breaking ball below the zone, and that's a tough one to spit on. But the key is recognizing it coming out of the pitcher's hand earlier and making sure that it goes up before it comes down. More likely to be a hanger when that's the case. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. Uh, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. So here's the veteran, Brett Gardner, as the first pitch misses high and inside for ball one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. That's too high, ball two. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. Here now the 2-2. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2-2. Two and two. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. Now the payoff pitch home. And that one's taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. When a guy's been swinging the bat as well as he has in this series, you definitely want to take the bat out of his hands. A free pass to first is better than what he's been doing the last couple of games. Digging in now for the Yankees, Torres. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. No balls and a strike to count. Hits are now even at four apiece. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. One left for the Yankees. They lead it 2 to 1.
Chad Green is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 57. Chad Green. Joey Wendell digs in now. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Leading off for the Red. The second baseman. Joey Wendell. First delivery to him on the way. <laughs> Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. One one home. No. Two ball. One strike. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Set. Here's the 2 2. Ball. Down the floor. 3 2. He's off, ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Man, that's a tough one to swallow. You're hanging on to a slim lead, and the last thing you want to do is give up a leadoff walk. Seems like those are the ones that always come back to haunt you. So we'll see if that's the case here. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And up next will be the right-handed hitting Jose Martinez. From the belt. Kicks and deals. No. What I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. Nobody out, runner on first. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. Here comes Gardner. He's there and records the first down. Now back, right fielder. Off there. So a runner at first now with one away. And Austin Meadows will be the next to bat. From the stretch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Oh, one. Here's the pitch. Now, oh my, this ball is crushed. Look at it go. Boom goes the dynamite. So it's a two-run shot to right center as they've taken a one-run lead.
what a momentum shift right there. Now the visitors are down to their final three outs. You can bring your big boy in to close this one out. Ben Heller answers the call now, looking to get this one onto the ninth inning without any trouble. Ben Heller. In now, Hunter Renfro. As he'll take one on the inside corner at the knees, it's strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non competitive off speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. The 1-1 one, one. is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. That's back-to-back -back sliders on the outside part of the plate. Now would be a good time to come in with that good hard stuff inside. The 1-2. One, Ball. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Looking up is the left fielder. Boom goes the dynamite. Hunter Renfro leaves the yard with a solo shot. Home run number five on the year. And the Razor stake to a four to two lead. And everyone in the home dugout just seemed to breathe a little easier. They're up two and only need three outs in their bullpen to wrap up the W. It's always nice to work with a little extra wiggle room. Digging in, G-Man Choi. And then after that home run, it looks like they might be able to end this losing streak that they've been mired in. Yeah, and the win at this level feels really good, especially when it's been a while. They're on their way if they can play well the rest of the game. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball. And a slider tails outside for ball one. Ball. No strike. Yeah. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Three runs already home here. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. Throw on the first will get him. Score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. Final line there for the Yankee starting pitcher. He was on point from the get-go this evening. Hey, Matty V, this guy had it going in this one. You look down at the bottom of that scroll. Ten strikeouts. He hit that swing and miss stuff from the beginning all the way to the end in this one. At the plate now, Willie Adamas. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0 and 1. Bases are empty here with two men out. Oh, he had him fooled there. No balls and two strikes. Ball and two strikes to the Rays shortstop. Grounder down the line at third. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Here's the pitch. And he strikes him out here so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. Ninth inning coming up. The Rays are out in front, four to two.
Oliver Drake lead. comes on from the now pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top Number of the ninth. Oliver. Set to start the ninth in this one. Striding forward now is the DH, Miguel Andujar. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Looking for base runners here as they're down two playing on the road. Not an easy thing to do, trying to score runs or bunch hits together off of a closer. Every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. A ball and a strike now. And he oh. takes ball two, and it's two and one. and one hey leading off an inning in this situation three balls on you you have to know that a solo shot's not tying this game up you have to find a way to get on base any way possible three balls and two strikes to the Yankees DH time run stands on deck but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base yeah and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now Matt he can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. Hard hit ball to second. On to first, and that is a big out to start the ninth. Now batter, right fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. Striding forward now, the Yankee cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. He's working on a one for three thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Rising fastball, and it catches the zone for a strike. Here's the 0 1. No. Plane 11, 1 1. And able to lay off the fastball the way here. 2 and 1 now. Pitch on the way. 3-1. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, 3-1. and one. No offer from Stanton. It's ball four, so he'll head down to first. The hitter was dug in looking for something to hit, but now he would have needed a telephone pole to hit that thing way out of the zone. In now, Gio Urshela. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Ball way off target here, and it's even at one. The one one is swung on and missed for strike number two. Hey, hats off to the pitching staff right here. They've been able to hold a hot hitter in check in game four of this series. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. 
to two balls and two strikes now. Drilled on the ground to short. And there's his first base hit in this one. So he waited till the ninth inning when he comes through here to extend the hit streak. That was close. Yeah, Matty B, you see that wry smile of him coming out of the box right there. He knew what was on the line. He'd be lying if he didn't. Now, there's a lot of pressure on him because you're walking into that batter's box thinking, I have a nice streak going, and this is more than likely going to be my last A.B. He comes through in the clutch. Tyler Standing in now, D.J. LeMayhew. Swing here on the fastball, and this will get fouled off to the right side. First and second now, one man out. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Right fielder is on the run. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. The battle. The first baseman. Luke Boyd. Settling in now, Luke Boyd. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. First delivery to him on the way. That's the ball. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making him work for this one. One oh count. Here it is. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed, and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. You chase a pitch that bad outside the zone, you've got to find a way to regroup, adjust the batting gloves, only look over the hard row 17 inches. Now this small but vocal crowd come to their feet. Fouled off. Two down, runners at first and second. Last chance for the Yankees. Again, another foul ball. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Oh. him out for out number three so that'll wrap things up here as they leave the possible tying run stranded at first well baseball is a game of streaks and runs so a four game skid happens to even the best of teams the key is they didn't panic or press they just came out here played their game and put the losing streak behind them like professionals are supposed to do well done four to two with the final score tonight the Tampa Bay Rays came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Nick Anderson claims the win out of the pen, his first. Oliver Drake wraps it up for the save, his tenth. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show.